ओके वेलकम बैक इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डन सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी एंड वी हैव सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव अनदर एग्जांपल अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास 80 kg इज स्टार्टिंग इट्स मोशन फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए एंड this particle is covered uh, is moving along this ramp ab and this ramp ab is taking an angle of 2.6 degree and uh, the distance between point a and point b is 250 meters and uh, the particle cross uh, point b this is point b uh, with 9 meter per second speed and it continues its motion and it passes this point c with 5 meter per second speed first of all uh, we need to calculate the work done against resistance from uh, point a to point b from point a to point b we need to calculate the work done against resistance okay because uh, it is uh, given that this particle is moving freely like uh, let's suppose there is a cyclist of mass 80 kg cyclist of mass 80 kg moving three wheels yes it is moving three wheels okay so if uh, this particle is moving three wheels we, we know that uh, at point a the potential energy is maximum so this body if this body is coming from point a to point b it will lose its potential energy because height is decreasing and uh, similarly from point a to point b the speed will increase speed will increase it means the kinetic energy will increase so we know that the uh, loss in potential energy or the change in potential energy will be equal to mg into h2 minus h1 or we can also say that mg into delta h okay we know that uh, mass is 250 and g is 10 and we can find this height using uh, trigonometric identity this height is h we know that uh, h sin sin 2.6 degrees will be equal to h over 250 so height will be equal to 11.3 11.3 meters so height will be equal to 11.3 if we multiply these three quantities we will have the loss in potential energy 9073 9073 joules this will be the loss in potential energy similarly we can calculate the gain in kinetic energy that will be equal to 1 over 2 m into b b squared minus b a squared bb is the velocity at point b and ba is the velocity at point a we know that this cyclist started his motion at point a from rest so the initial velocity which is ba will be equal to 0 uh, 1 over 2 mass is uh, 80 and the velocity at point b is 9 so if you multiply uh, these numbers we will have Uh, the gain in kinetic energy, and that will be equal to forty into eighty-one, and that will be equal to three to four zero joules. That will be the gain in kinetic energy. Okay. Now it means at uh, point A. at point a the kinetic energy was zero because the velocity of uh, this particle at point a was zero if kinetic energy at zero 
uh, at point A is zero, it means uh, the potential energy, which was 9,073 joules at point A, this uh, potential energy is converting into kinetic energy. Potential energy at point A was 9,073 joules. 9,073 joules. At this point, the kinetic energy is 3,240 joules. If we subtract these two energies, if we subtract potential energy and kinetic energy, we will have the work done against uh, uh, work done against resistance. Basically, uh, this change in potential energy, this is equal to the change in kinetic energy plus the work done against friction. Because this particle has to do some work against friction, which is equal to this expression. We know that uh, the, the potential energy is 9073 and the kinetic energy is 3240. If we subtract these two energies, we will have the work done against friction, then that will be equal to uh, work done against friction, that will be equal to 5833 joules. That will be the work done against friction. Okay. Now uh, we are supposed to find the distance between uh, point B to point C. We know that the work done against friction is basically equal to force of friction multiplied by the distance. Okay. And uh, the work done against friction is 5,833 joules, 33 joules, and the force of friction is F, and the distance is uh, the distance between uh, point. It is 250 meters from uh, this point. Point A to point B, the distance is 250 meters. Because the work done against friction between uh, point A to point B is 5,833 joules, and uh, this body has worked against friction for 250 meters. So, using these two quantities, we can find the force of friction. If we divide these two quantities, we will have uh, 23.3 newtons. That will be equal to the force of friction. Okay, now uh, we know that the loss in kinetic energy because it is given that the friction uh, against uh, work from point A to point B is same uh, as the friction between point B to point C. And we can see that at point B the velocity is 9, meter, 9 meter per second and at point C the velocity is 5 meter per second. So velocity is decreasing, it means there will be a loss in kinetic energy. Now, why kinetic energy is decreasing? We can see that velocity is decreasing from 9 to 5 meter per second. It is happening because of this force of friction. So, we can see that uh, the loss in the kinetic energy is basically equal to the work done against friction. The work done against friction. Okay, now the loss in kinetic energy, you know that 1 over 2 m into v squared minus u squared and this is basically equal to force into distance. Okay, we can uh, substitute mass, uh, you know, it is 80 and the velocity of this body at uh, point C is 5, similarly. At this point, the velocity is 9, and the force of friction is 23.3. We can find this distance using this formula. It will be equal to, we can also substitute like this 9 minus 5 because kinetic energy is decreasing. Okay, basically, the, this is change in kinetic energy. We can also say loss in kinetic energy. And so, the distance uh, will be equal to, if you calculate, these values we will have distance will be equal to 96 meters. So we are done with second part. Now uh, in 
part 3 we are supposed to find acceleration after passing through point C acceleration of this body after passing through point C it is given that the, this cyclist is uh, running with 425 watts power power is equal to 425 watts and we are supposed to find acceleration after passing through point C we are supposed to find this ok uh, we can use the net force formula that uh, we have introduced during uh, our video on forces and equilibrium you know that the net force is basically equal to forward thrust minus the force of friction you know this ok now uh, we know that what is the force of friction we have calculated it, it is basically 23.3 newton it is worked against uh, this is the force of friction 23.3 newton and uh, but we don't know this force this is called forward thrust ok uh, we can use another expression you know that power is basically work done over time and work is always done through the forward thrust multiplied by the distance you know that work done is basically equal to force multiplied by distance so distance over time is basically velocity so we can use this expression that power is equal to forward thrust multiplied by the velocity at point C the power is 425 and velocity is 5 if we calculate forward thrust using this uh, expression we will have its uh, value which is equal to 5 newton forward thrust is basically equal to 85 newton this is our forward thrust ok now net force is always equal to mass into acceleration and forward thrust is 85 and the friction is 23.3 newton we know that mass of this body is 80 And uh, that will be equal to 85 minus 23.3. So acceleration will be equal to 85 minus 23 divided by 50. That will be equal to 0 0.7 meter per second square. This will be our acceleration. So we are done with another example, okay.